All right, number 38 is very similar to one that we did in class. The student earned a grade of C, A, B, and A, and the course had the corresponding numbers of credit hours. Um, so we had a C, an A, and a B, and an A. So remember, C is worth two points. They, they tell us this here. Uh, B is worth three, and so on. So A is four, B is three, and A is four. All right, so, and then in each of those um, classes, we had the corresponding credit hours. So this is the number of hours. And so this is what... Um, will be um, our weights. All right, um, four, six, one, and six. All right, so um, uh, we're going to calculate this GPA. So remember, we just take two times four, four times six, three times one, and four times six. All right, we get eight, twenty-four, three, and twenty-four, and we add those up, and we get uh, fifty-nine. All right, so we add those up. Uh, the multiplication of 2 times 4, right, again, that's what that was. The hours times the letter grade points, right? And then we divide by the sum of the weights or the hours. So we have uh, 10 plus 7 is 17. So we take 59 divided by 17, and we'll get our answer. All right. Now that's the way you would do that manually. So 3.47 is the answer. And let me just refresh you on how to do this with a graphing calculator. If you have it, uh, it's a good skill to learn. It's, uh, it's applicable in other problems, so let me pull that up. So with the graphing calculator, we'll press STAT and then ENTER. That lets us enter our data first. And so remember in list one, we always put uh, the numbers themselves, in this case the grades, and the weights. The weights or frequencies always have to go in list two. So the weights here are four, six, one, and six, the number of hours. And then we can press STAT again. And we write error to CALC and press ENTER for one bar STATS. And we're going to do one bar STATS, LIST1, comma, second, LIST2. And you see we get that same result of 3.47 that we got when we did it this way. So you see that the graphing calculator can be a little bit of a help if you're familiar with it. No, it's probably the faster way. But you see this math was simple enough where these were these numbers to be multiplied here were integers and they were things you know from your multiplications table. So this one's not too terribly hard to do in your head uh, or with a very basic calculator either. All right. So uh, and you see we get the same result 3.47. So the answer is C.